Let's solve this lead code challenge. It's called find the index of the first occurrence in a string. It's a very simple challenge, but it's listed as medium difficulty. We have two strings. One is called needle. The other one is called haystack. And we have to return the index of the first occurrence of the content of needle inside of the string called haystack. Otherwise, we have to return negative one. This can actually be solved in a single line in C++, but before I show you the code, let's look at this here, the examples. If we have sad but sad as one word inside of haystack, needle only has the contents sad. The first time we find sad inside of haystack is at the beginning, that is index zero. Therefore, we have to return zero here. In here, we have lit code for haystack, but needle has little. So we cannot find this string inside of haystack. And therefore, we have to return negative one. Now, here is how you can solve this challenge, a single line of code. You return this thing. So what is this here? We have haystack, which is the string that we have to query. Because it's a string in C++, we have a function or a method in this case called finds. And inside of finds for the arguments, you can pass it a string, any string contents. And this means that you have to find the first occurrence of that contents inside of whatever string you're calling the find function on. If we find it, we get an index. Otherwise, we get negative one. Now, how do we know that we get negative one? I like to reference c++.com. They show you the find function from this string here, the string class. And what it returns to you here is the position of the first character of the first match. If no matches were found, the function returns NPOS, which is, I think, no position. And if you click on this, they say here that this is a constant defined with the value negative one. So our job is already done for us here. We don't need to have any conditional statements. We just have this. And that's it. So let's run it first to see if we can pass the sample test cases. Case one and two is what they have here. And we've passed both of them. I'm going to make this a bit bigger. And now I'm going to submit. And we've passed this uh, challenge. Depending on how you run this, you might even get zero milliseconds sometimes. So it's pretty fast. You can always optimize it if you want, but it's not necessary for this challenge. I hope you like my solution. If you do, please subscribe and I'll catch you next time.